Hello, hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to Gorilla Man. Today we are going to be making Theraputty. No, not Theraputty. Proto Putty. And the ingredients that you need is 100% silicone, and you need it to be clear and 100%. And number one. And you need 100% silicone and food coloring. And don't forget gloves. Gloves are important. And today we are going to be making blue. Now when you make it within five to, no, within 15 to 20 minutes, it will turn to rubber. And the more food coloring you put, the better. Now it's time to put the silicone in. So what can you do with this rubber after it's made? After it's made, it's super bouncy and stretchy, so you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. Can you make molds and stuff with it? Yep. Awesome. Oh, I think I like that blue color. Oh yeah, and make sure, I have to remind you guys, when you do the, if you do this, you have to make sure, like, that you like the smell of vinegar. It's pretty strong. Because it smells like vinegar a lot. That's why we're doing this outside. Get it. Good. It's looking good. Sorry about our dogs. That's good, Mom. Oh, here's one more. No. Okay. Oh, that's why you wear gloves. I guess I should have mixed it with the stick first. Yes, mix it as much as you can with the stick first, and then you just kind of start working it in there. It actually takes quite a bit of cornstarch. You have to kind of keep working it in. And show the previous attempt that we did, Mom? The previous attempt. <laughs> we didn't quite put enough food coloring in it, so it's kind of a really light purple. We wanted it a little bit darker, but because you mix so much cornstarch into it, it does lighten the color, but we just made a simple ball. Now, should um, it be like falling apart like this? You gotta really like work it. It's still sticky. Yep, so you keep adding stuff. Oh, it's gonna harden before I'm done. No, it actually takes a little bit. You just gotta keep working it in there and... I can give you a hand if you need. Nope, I got it. So yeah, we just made a simple ball the first time. And it's still in the process of hardening, I think. It's pretty hard, but I don't think it's quite ready. So, um... Once it's completely ready, then we'll we'll show you, and hopefully it'll be nice and bouncy. I think our cats will like it. Okay, so now just kind of really work it into your hands. So this is what it's looking like now. Oh, I like that color. I think I like the blue. Is it sticking to your hands still? No. Nope. Not so bad? It's actually perfectly good now.
it's sticking to the other stuff. So I can probably take off my gloves now. Oh yeah, it's not sticky anymore. If you do feel it a little bit sticky, you just add a little bit more cornstarch on the outside. So if you need to And you like, want to mix it until it gets to like a Play-Doh cons consistency. So this you can put it over a Lego brick or a car or something to make any kind of mold. Okay, now it's going to be ready, so I'm going to move all this cornstarch out of the way. Now I'm just simply going to make it into a ball. Here, let's move it over here so they can see. And you want to make sure if you're making it into a ball, it has no like rips or anything in it. Because look, look what's happening with mine. It's ripping. Mom, can you roll that into a ball for me? Sure. And it's super messy. That's why make sure you do this with your parents. Because they might not be so happy if they come home and you've made this mess. Plus, it's kind of something fun to do together. Yeah. If you're wondering who that is talking, that's my mom. Got it, Mom? Yeah, it's kind of wanting to come apart. Okay, so now in 15 or 20 minutes or so, we are going to show you. So, see you in 15, 20 minutes. Okay, we, um, we are now back about 15, 20 minutes later. And here's one creation that I just made. It's called the bouncy ball on the stick. So you throw it and supposedly it bounces. But here is the main one that we made. So as you can see, it's all full, like ready and stuff like that. So we I'm gonna kind of like a squished ball so that when you bounce yeah. it, it bounces really crazy. Yeah, so I'm going to show you it bouncing. I just have to take it off the tripod. Do you want me to hold that for you? Nope. Okay, so here it is. And there it is. Now I'm gonna put more force. And it's over here. They actually do bounce pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna go over the ingredients again. So what you need is 100% pure cornstarch. All all purpose clear silicone one, 100%. Disposable bowls, food coloring. Disposable gloves. Disposable gloves. And with the caulking, you also need this caulking gun. Oh, so. also one more tip. You can't, none of the molds that you make are food safe unless you get a food safe silicone, which this one is not. Yes. So do not make any molds to do ice cubes, chocolate, anything like that. It's just strictly for toys. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Thank you, bye.